Today, I'm celebrating 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. This class is a special request from a loyal subscriber for a complete class covering everything from a warm up to pranayama. Namaste, I'm Archana. A warm welcome to this everyday yoga class, which is designed to make you feel balanced, strong, and deeply relaxed. So, we'll begin by sitting in a comfortable seated position. Remember to keep your back straight, chin parallel. Bring your right hand to your abdomen, left to your chest. Take a deep inhalation and as you exhale, close your eyes. With every inhalation, you're creating length in your spine. And as you exhale, just letting your lower body go heavy on the mat. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to soften. Now as you breathe in, just notice the rise and fall of your chest, the movement in your abdomen. The next time you breathe in, gently push your belly into your palm. Expand your chest, open your shoulders. And as you breathe out, relax your abdomen, relax your chest, shoulder collapses. Two more rounds like that. Inhale, creating a lot of expansion in your front body creating length in your spine and as you exhale abdomen collapses shoulders relax chest relaxes one more inhalation and exhale The next time you exhale, you're going to chant the round of Om and notice the vibrations beneath the palms. Inhale. As you exhale, Stay here, just observe the silence for a second or two. And drop your chin to chest, bring your palms directly beneath your face and open your eyes with a few things. Now as you breathe in, raise both your hands up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, hands in Namaskara, bring it up. Again, inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale down. Last one, breath in, up, breathe out, down. Reach your hands up, turn and twist to your right as you exhale. Right hand behind your seat, left over your right knee, twist. Inhale again, reach your hands up. Exhale, turn and twist towards the left side. Take another deep inhalation, Try and sit taller and as you exhale, try and twist further. Breath in, reach your hands up. Now this time, as you breathe out, bring your right hand towards the right side of the floor. Reach and stretch. Parshava Sukhasana. Here we're going to draw circles in our arms. Three clockwise, three anti-clockwise. One. See if you can drop your ear towards your shoulder. Two. And three. Reverse. Three. Two. And one. Drop that left hand down slowly. 
start walking your right hand towards your right leg lastly straighten your head now move the other side if you feel like you can always close your eyes drop that left hand reach that right hand all the way over a nice stretch one more deep inhalation completely exhale and now start drawing circles three clockwise the circles are nice and wide two and one anti clockwise three two and one drop your hand and then very slowly walk the other hand towards your left thigh swing your legs to one side come on to your knees and palms open your palms wide you should be able to see the color of the mat wrist beneath your shoulders knees beneath your hip toes behind your knees and as you breathe in get your chest open your shoulders chin and gaze is forward and as you breathe out you're going to start pulling your belly in round your shoulders drop it into chest crown of the head towards the mat two more rounds here with all of this you're just warming up your spine and breathe out last one inhale arch and exhale round press your toes into the mat knees come off just bend your right knee remember both your toes are in line just try and drop the left heel notice the stretch all along the back of your left leg and then again now straighten the right bend the left two more and one step between your palms half lift ardha hasta utasana remember to keep your knees soft you're not bending but don't lock as you breathe out fold forward we're hinging from our hip bringing your belly to rest on your thighs press your feet into the earth breathe in arms come to the side all the way towards the ceiling and namaskara mudra walk to the top edge of your mat you going to do four rounds of sun salutations to warm up here the 12 step method hands come to rest in front of your thigh as you breathe in push your pelvis forward arch your back arms in line with your ears you gaze at a point where the wall meets the ceiling hasta uttanasana as you breathe out send your seat back you're hinging at your hip forward fold pada hastasana now step your right leg back left knee over your right ankle right leg stretched back ashwasana chalasana place your hands on the mat engage the back toe lift the knee bring both your legs together and chaturanga dandasana or you know some schools call it falakasana stay here plank pose drop your knees send your seat back the first round just moving don't worry about your breath stay here shashanka asana back to table top if you can pull your elbows in and slowly lower your chest towards the earth engage your toes knees palms chest and chin if this is hard come to lie on your belly engage your toes knees lift your belly and you can do it this way inhale bhujangasana from here come back to table top and knees come parvatasana drop your knees sit back and stretch shashankasana step your right leg between your palm knee stacked over ankle ashwasana chalasana breathe out pada hastasana 
forward fold. Start breathing in. Reach your hands up. And stiti. We're doing the medium pace. Using this as a warm up. Inhale again. Arch. Exhale. Coordinating breath with movement. Breathe out slowly. Padahastasana. This time, step your left leg back. Right knee over right ankle. Ashwasanchalasana. Your gaze, try and look where the wall meets the ceiling or at the wall. Here you can come to tabletop, extend right, extend left and come to plank. Now drop your knees, sit back and stretch. Shashankasana. Inhale and exhale. Come back to tabletop, pull the elbows in, see if you can lower your chest, your palms, chest, Chin, knees and toes pressing into the mat. Come all the way up. Bhujangasana. Remember not to bring your shoulders towards your ears. Engage your toes. Put again your tabletop. Or you've been practicing. Push up the plank and go to downward dog. Breathe in. Completely breathe out. Drop the knees. Shashankasana, inhale, exhale. Step the left leg between your palm, knees over ankle. Nice opening in the front of your thigh. Ashwasanchalasana. Padahastasana. As you breathe in, come up and stiti. Two more rounds. Inhale. Asta Uttanasana. Exhale. Padahastasana. Inhale. Step your right leg back. Ashwasanchalasana. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Shashankasana. Very slowly lower your chest, pull the elbow in, Ashtanga, eight points on the mat. You can. As you breathe in, Bhujangasana. Again, either from tabletop or directly pressing your toes. Going to Parvatasana, mountain pose. As you breathe in, come down, inhale, exhale, Shashankasana. Step your right leg between your palms. Ashwasanchalasana. Breathe out. Padahastasana. Inhale. And stiti. Last round. Breath in. Breathing with your left. Hasta Uttanasana. Exhale. Padahastasana. Inhale. Step your left leg back. Ashwasanchalasana. Step into plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Drop your knees, sit back and stretch. Shashankasana, breathe in, breathe out. This is like a resting pose, mid-cycle. You can bring your chest towards the floor, chin or forehead. It's totally your choice. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Press your toes, lift back to plank. Parvimatasana. How as you breathe in, come down to sitting in Shashankasana. Inhale and exhale. Step your left leg between your palm. Ashwasanchalasana. Padahastasana. Breathe in. Up. Breathe out. Stiti. Drop your hands down. Come to stand in Tadasana. Take a deep inhalation. Fully exhale. Stay here. Just letting your breath come down into a comfortable rhythm. Now widen your legs. Bend your knees. Just fold forward. With your left, hold your right elbow, right hold your left elbow. Just swing side to side. 
shifting weight on your right foot and your left foot. Start breathing in very slowly, roll up. Bring your right leg towards the right side of the room. Left toe is pointing straight ahead, arms like the letter T. See if you can bring your ankles beneath your wrist. Now shift your pelvis towards your left. And as your someone is trying to grab your right arm and very slowly drop triangle pose Trikonasana. Your gaze can either be at your fingertips towards the ceiling. If that's not comfortable in your leg, then look forward or look at your mat. Breathe in. Create length. Try and reach that left hand towards the ceiling. Exhale. Breathe out through your mouth. Relax all the other muscles that are unnecessarily tensed. Remember to keep your face relaxed. Focus is just on the muscles needed to hold this pose. One more deep inhalation. Completely exhale. And as you breathe in, come up. Now turn and twist. Bring your left hand in the direction of your right foot. Drop your right hand on the inside of your foot or anywhere on the leg. Just avoid placing it on your knee. Turn and twist. Look towards the back wall. Try and bring that right hand towards the ceiling. If you need to, you can always bend your knees and see if that helps you deepen the twist. Press all four corners of your left foot and hold. Stay here with a steady breath, focusing at your waist. Once you get comfortable, see if you can straighten. Take a deep inhalation. Completely exhale. Relax the abdominal region. One more breath in. And as you breathe out, drop your hands down. Just straighten that knee, chin to chest, spin that back leg. So both your legs are pointing, or rather both your toes are pointing towards the right side of the room. Try and bring your forehead in the direction of your knees. Inhale, as you exhale, letting your belly collapse. Forehead towards your shin or you want to take it further, chin towards your chest, the space between your eyebrows towards your knees. One more deep inhalation and exhale. And as you breathe in, bend that right knee, adjust your back leg, rise up to warrior. Your toe or your foot automatically aligns with the Long end of the mat at a 45 degree angle. Veera Petrasana. As you breathe in, as you're drawing energy from your foot all the way towards your fingertips in the direction of the sky. One more deep inhalation. Fully exhale. Turn, bring both your shoulders directly over your hips, adjust your back leg, warrior two. Inhale, completely exhale, trying to bring that right thigh parallel to the earth. Now draw your right arm directly to rest at your thigh. Reach that left over and stretch. If this is comfortable and you want to take it a little more further, drop on the inside of your foot. Reach and stretch. 
Breathe in. Completely breathe out. And one more deep inhalation of your exhale. Relax everything else. You can always breathe out your mouth to do that. Inhale, straighten. Come all the way up. Turn your toes. Point directly towards the front of the room. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, again, you're hinging. Try and bring the toes and the tip of your fingers. One straight line, crown of the head towards the mat. And look at the back wall. If this feels too deep, you can look at the floor or the mat. Prasaritta Padottanasana. One more deep innovation. Fully exhale. And one. As you breathe in, slowly rise all the way up. Turn your left toes towards the left side of the mat. Arms like the letter T. Shift all your weight towards your right hip. And reach as if someone is trying to pull you, holding your left hand. And once you can't go any further, drop it down. Right hand up towards the ceiling. And based on how you feel, you can keep your gaze. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice the areas that you're feeling the discomfort in. When you breathe in, try and bring your focus to that area. And then, as you breathe out, completely exhale through your nose just to relax, like you're letting go of the tension. Next time you breathe in, slowly come up. One more deep inhalation. And now as you exhale, bring your right hand in the direction of your left foot. If you need to adjust, adjust your back foot. Hands either on the inside of the foot or anywhere on your leg. Turn and twist. Your choice, knees can stay bent or straight. Bring all your awareness to your abdominal region. It's a great way for you to massage your abdominal organs by compressing and then relaxing. So you're completely focused in your twist. Stay there. Breathe out through your mouth to relax the day. Great for organ health. Now as you breathe in, drop your hands down. Hands on either side of your leg. Belly pressing into your thigh. Your choice. Just fold forward. Don't take it further. Chin to chest. Bring the space between your eyebrows towards your knee. Notice if one side feels different than the other. Stay here. With every exhalation, you're trying to get deeper into the pose. Now as you breathe in, you can always bend your knees slightly to help you come up. Inhale, come all the way up. You need to adjust, adjust the back leg. Veera Bhattarasana Man. Press the back foot into the mat. Hold. And one. Now very slowly spin the back foot. Again, toes pointing straight ahead. Left toes pointing towards the left side of the room. Arms like the letter T, shoulders over pelvis. Look towards the left fingertips. Breathe in, breathe out.
and one now very slowly drop the hand either on your thigh or bring it to the floor reach the other hand over and stretch inhale completely exhale one more breath in breath out and one release spin the belt like that grab hold of your ankle take a deep breath in as you breathe out trying to bring the crown of the head towards the mat inhale completely exhale now take a deep breath in as you breathe out bring your right hand over your left ankle left hand towards the ceiling if this feels a little too intense bring your hands directly beneath your face and then twist and one release now this time exhale hand towards the right ankle reach and stretch your choice where you want to place your hands two and one release heel to your legs in toes about your heels about one one and a half feet distance toes pointing to either side of the mat and slowly lower yourself into malasana take another deep breath in create length in your spine as you breathe out trying to drop the tailbone towards the floor inhale create length exhale further dropping the tailbone one more deep inhalation fully exhale with every inhalation you're trying to press into your thighs and trying to sit taller every exhalation drawing the tailbone in the direction of the mat one more deep inhalation and exhale completely from here drop your hands down slowly roll forward or fold forward bring your hands towards the short end of the mat take a deep breath in half we lift as you breathe out forward fold slowly lower yourself come down to sitting extend your legs directly in front of you breathe in reach both your hands up towards the ceiling as you breathe out hinge forward fold paschimottanasana inhale create length as you exhale try and press the belly towards the earth hands on either side one more deep inhalation exhale try and drop the elbow trying to bring your chest you can always choose to breathe out through your mouth one more breath in lengthen as you breathe out holding further when you know you can't go any further you may be you know really close to your thigh or you may simply be here it doesn't matter what is important is that you're making progress every day and now as you breathe out claw the chin to chest forehead in the direction of the legs paschimottanasana breathe out stay here with your breath bringing awareness to areas of tension with every exhalation letting go 
sinking deeper into your pose. And as you breathe in, slowly walk yourself to come out of the pose. Reach both your hands up towards the ceiling. Turn, twist towards the right side. And then with your left grab, hold outside of your right foot. Reach your hand over and drop. Parivritta Paschimottanasana. Go as deep as you can. Inhale and exhale. Whenever it is ready next, take a deep inhalation. Come out of your pose. Bring your hands all the way up. Come up to sitting and then untwist yourself. Breathe in, reach your hands up. Breathe out, twist to the other side. And now, as you exhale, you're going to try and grab hold of the outside of your left foot. Start breathing in. Reach that hand over and bend further. Stay here. So observe the different sensations in your body. Notice how your breath feels. The next time you breathe in, again, come back up. Come up to sitting tall and then untwist. Now bend both your knees. Place your feet on the mat. Hands come to rest on your knees. And very slowly lean back so that your elbows extend. Palms can either face the ceiling. Or you can always rest it. Just remember not to hang on to your knees. Rest it there. You'll notice your abdomen is contracting. Don't collapse into your back. Pull that in. Five. Inhale and exhale. To stay here for four more breaths like that. Try and take full inhalations and full exhalations. Try and take full. Stay here for four more rounds of deep inhalations and exhalations. And one, whenever you're ready, from your hip, you're going to come forward, grab hold of your knees, sit tall, take another deep breath in, completely breathe out, one more breath in, breath out, place your hands next to your hips or slightly behind. Fingers are pointing in the direction of your heels. You can bring your heels closer, not necessarily all the way towards your seat. And then press your palms, open your fingertips wide. Remember you're not putting weight on your wrist, on your palms. Sit tall, move your knees in the direction of your toes. Ardha Purvatanasana, your reverse tabletop. Hold. Again, stay with your breath. You're holding the pose, not your breath. Keep breathing in and out. Three more. Squeeze your glutes if you're Hanging down here, bring it all the way up. 
and one slowly lower release your hands circle the tourist clockwise anti-clockwise swing your legs to one side come to lie on your abdomen palms come beneath your shoulders keeping your toes engaged inhale remember you're not pressing into your palms palms are just hovering over the mat breathe in lift your upper back Mark the Bhujangasana, your baby cobra. Stay here. Inhale, exhale. Press the top of your feet. Kneecaps pull in. And one. Slowly drop your forehead towards the mat. Now just slide your hands off the mat. Press your fingertips. You're coming to rest on the floor. You can breathe in. Press into your fingertips, inhale, come up. As you exhale, you can go down. Three more of this. If it's too much placing or taking all the weight on your fingertips, place your palms flat. Inhale. Look up. Remember, shoulders stay low. Exhale and down last one breath in up breathe out and down now bring your palms directly beneath your thighs and your uh, pelvic bone is resting on the inside of your forearm and as you breathe in, reach both your toes as you're trying to reach for the back wall. Squeeze your glutes, forehead is resting. Inhale and raise your legs off. Squeeze those glutes, take it as high as you can. Shalabhasana. Hold. Three. Two. And one. Drop it down. Once more, breath in, breath out, press your toes, kneecaps pull in, squeeze your glutes, hold, two, and one, drop it down, release your hands, press into the mat, Send your seat back, forehead comes to rest. Take a deep inhalation. If you notice any tension in your lower back, bring all your awareness there. Completely exhale and relax. Whenever you feel ready, slowly roll up. Come up to sitting. You can continue to sit in Vajrasana or you can come to sit in Sukhasana. Whatever feels comfortable, just remember to keep your back straight. Now we're going to practice Dhastrika Pranayama. It's also called the bellows breath. Bring your hands next to your shoulders. Remember to keep your palms not in front of your chest, but more towards your shoulder or the outside of your shoulder. You're going to inhale. Reach your hands up. Exhale as you're pulling something from the ceiling. So inhale. Exhale. So we're going to do 10 of this. We're going to take a pause and do three rounds. Together, breath in. Take another deep inhalation, fully exhale. If you're feeling dizzy, that means you're not breathing the air completely in. 
One more deep inhalation, full exhalation. I'm going to do one more round of ten. Remember to keep your face relaxed. Breath in. Deep breath in, completely breathe out. Last round. You can always, you know, the pace is too fast for you. You can also, you know, do it a little more slowly. I'm just doing it at a medium pace. Inhale again. Exhale. Breathe in, completely breathe out. If you feel like you can always completely exhale through your mouth. Now we'll practice Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. Adopt Chin Mudra in your left, Nasika Mudra in your right, close your right nostril. Completely breathe out through your left. If it's hard for you to close those fingers in, you can bring it to rest in the space between your eyebrows. Now breathe in through your left for four, two, three, four. Close your left nostril, open your thumb. Breathe out for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, one. Two, three, four. Close your right nostril. Completely exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Remember, keep your back straight. Relax your face. We're going to do four more rounds together. Inhale for four, one, two, three, four. Close, exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Close your right nostril, completely exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, count in your mind. Exhale through your right. Inhale through your right for four. Close your right nostril, completely exhale through your left for six. Two more rounds. Inhale. Close your left. Out through your right for six. Inhale for four. Close your right nostril. Breathe out through your left. Once more, breath in. Out through your right. In through your right. And out through your left. Slowly drop your hands to your thighs. Just noticing how you're feeling, how your breath feels. Now bring your thumbs to cover your ears. You're going to use that little 
cartilage on the outside of your ear to cover your ears. Place the tip of your fingers at the bridge of your nose. You're not pressing your eyeballs, okay? Just cover. Take it the tip of your tongues all the way to the roof of your mouth. This is going to be your uh, posture when you are doing Brahmari or the B breath. We are going to hum on the N. When I say run, the last part of it, N sound. That's how you are going to do three rounds together. Tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth and as you breathe out, N. Last round. Very slowly, drop your hands to your lap. Just observe the different sensations in your face and head region. Continue keeping your eyes closed. Slowly turn to one side and come to lie down on your mat. Bring your heels to the corners of the mat. Hands come to rest next to you. Close your eyes. See that your whole body is supported on the mat. Take another deep inhalation. Completely exhale. Bringing all your awareness to your abdominal region. Notice the rise and fall of your belly. As you breathe in, push your belly towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, breathe out through your mouth, letting your whole body sink deep into the mat. Two more rounds like this. Inhale to expand. Exhale to soften. Last one. Shift your awareness to the tip of your nose. Now as you breathe in, notice the cool air entering your nostril. As you breathe out, feel the warm air on the top of your upper lip. Two more rounds like that. Feeling the air entering your nostril. And as you breathe out again, Feel it on the top of your upper lip. Last one. Continue keeping your eyes closed. Now as we chant Om, noticing the vibrations all through our body. While we're chanting, Bringing your awareness to your the soles of your feet and all the way to the crown of your head and your fingertips. Take a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, If you have more time, stay here for as long as you feel like. And if you choose to come out of the pose, turn towards the right side. Continue keeping your eyes closed and slowly come up to sitting.
Hands come in front of your face and open your eyes with a few blinks. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for joining me in today's session. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. If you are new here, remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this class was valuable, please like and share. Namaste.